Welcome to Edge Kids. Hello everyone, welcome to Edge Kids. My name is Lisa and I am so glad, I'm so excited that today you're joining us because today we are in our series called This Is My Worship. And today we're focusing on how we can worship God by our praying. Can everybody say praying? Once more, one, two, three, praying. Now, I love that we get to talk about this today because today I feel like I get to share a secret with you, a powerful secret that prayer is so, so powerful. Now, this type of prayer that we're talking about today, do you know what? This type of prayer has changed my life. It's something that's really special to me, something that's really special to God and something that I know it's going to be really special for you as well. So I can't wait for you to learn more about this secret type of prayer that we're going to talk about today. But before we do, we're going to stand up. Let's all stand up. Amazing. And we're going to sing our song that tells us so many different ways that we can worship God. Who loves God? I love God. Who loves to say thank you to God? I love saying thank you to God too. Let's do this as we sing our song together. This is my worship, my worship. 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 In my singing, in my praying, in my giving. In my serving, in my loving, in my living. I keep my eyes on your mercy and give my all cause you saved me. This is my worship, my worship. 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 In my singing, in my praying, in my giving. In my serving, in my loving, in my living. I keep my eyes on your mercy and give my all cause you saved me. weapon of prayer that you're talking about. It is learning how to pray prayers of saying thank you Jesus and prayers of worship. Do you like praying? Put your hand up if you sometimes pray. Amazing. Prayer is talking to God. Now I don't know about you but sometimes when I talk to God I feel like all I'm doing is just saying God I want this and I want that and maybe it's kind of like a shopping list. Does someone in your house make a shopping list? And do they say, I want apples and bananas and I want this. Sometimes it can be like we come to God saying, God, I want a great day. I want to feel better. I want a new car. I want new friends. I want new toys. Maybe sometimes our prayers can be like that and it's here's all the things I want. Do you know what? These aren't bad things to be praying and God actually loves answering our prayers. But today we're talking about a different kind of praying. Today we're talking about praying where all we do is tell God, God, you're the best. Thank you, God. I love you, God. Do you think you could all yell out, thank you, God? You ready? Thank you, God. Ready? One, two, three. Thank you, God. Once more. Thank you, God. Once more. Thank you, God. That's it. It's prayers of saying, God, I thank you. In the Bible, there's a lady called Hannah and she said a thank you prayer. Like we're talking about, she said in 1 Samuel 2 verse 2, she said, there is no one holy like the Lord. There is no one beside you. There is no rock like our God. It's her saying, God, I love you. I want to praise you. In Psalm 34 verse 1, there's a man called David. I think you might have heard about him. He beat the really big Goliath. But this time he wasn't beating someone. He was actually in a cave. He's in that space. And you know what? Even in there, he said a thank you prayer. He said to God, I will praise the Lord at all times. I will constantly speak his praises. So David and Hannah and so many people in the Bible were really good at saying thank you prayers. Can you all whisper this time? You can even pretend that you're praying God like this and say, thank you, Jesus. Ready? 
Thank you, Jesus. Once more, thank you, Jesus. That's what we're talking about. I'm going to tell you a story from the Bible that includes some chains. What? Isn't that crazy? So in Acts chapter 16 in the Bible, there's two people that were called Paul and Silas. So we're going to read from Acts chapter 16 and hear what happened to them. They had just been beaten up and they'd been put into jail. And this is what it says. Around midnight, Paul and Silas were pre- Midnight? That's so late. They were praying at midnight and they were singing hymns, singing songs to God. So they're all chained up. They would have been sore and sad. But you know what? They're going, God, you're good. God, you're the best. They were singing as well, saying, God, we love you. God, you're the best. Even when they were in a really tricky time. But you know what? Do you know what happens next? It says the other prisoners were listening and suddenly there was a massive earthquake. The prison was shaken to its foundations and all the doors immediately flew open. And guess what? Then it says the chains fell off every prisoner. And you know what? Then they all said, thank you, God. Can you say thank you, God, nice and loud, ready? Thank you, God. Once more. Thank you, God. That's what we're talking about. Prayers that we say, thank you, God. I'm going to say one of those prayers now. So I want you to close your eyes and we're going to pray. Thank you, God. God, we thank you that there are so many things that we can say thank you to you for. Thank you that you're great. Thank you that you love us. Thank you that you are always with us. We love you so much. In Jesus' name, Amen. Amen. Thank you, God. You're the best. See if you can say some of those prayers this week. Thank you so much for joining us. And guess what? We'll see you next time. Bye.